Hola, mi amigos. I am now working on the old saws. Unfortunately, this is not going to be the saw that I keep. The cylinder is very, very scored. Um, I'll just take, get the light. I saw the light. And I'm just going to show you in there. So if I keep this saw, it's going to be major work. Right there down in that corner down in there and exactly the same thing over there there and when I turn it over to open it the cylinder itself looks a little marked up if you can see right in there oh yeah that's a good shot so I'm going but this one has all the best parts on it because this saw is not used as much as the red one and the red one is 100 cc -er. So this project has been on hold for six months. Now that the weather is starting to turn, and I don't touch wood. I don't have any snow blowers in right now. I'm going to start taking this apart. And I need this piece. This piece is exactly like the red one, but the red one is split right uh right in here so yes we're gonna we're gonna just see what we can do first of all and i think to take this off we go clockwise if i'm not mistaken yeah the clutch should, should turn that way Let me check the other one. I've got one to compare to. This is on the flywheel side, right? Okay. I think I gotta go the other way. I'm not sure. This is old stuff. Now this is the one that comes off clockwise, or counterclockwise, and I have just the tool that I made up a long time ago, in the days of the troglodytes. Take the washer off, good. Are you guys getting any of this? I sure are, that was really cool. To take this one off to turn it on, I have to uh, go counterclockwise. I got to turn it clockwise. Ah. Off to remove the clutch. It's getting a little tough with it, but it's all fileable. plug stop I guess. I'm not worrying about my stock as much as I used to because uh, I kind of calculated and I'm only going to be doing this for a small a bit more of my life but not my whole life. Okay so that goes there I think and that goes there. Excuse me for repeating this process for you. That goes on there. In or out. Goes like that for sure. And I'm gonna build it as I go. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And that definitely goes on there like that, because I remember the bolt, and then this goes on there, and we're down to the 
crank seal. Now I'm just going to run a file into that because I should have used my plug stop, right? That spark plug out of there so I can turn the engine over. And that's a big boy. Oh, that's good. Okay, now I want the points off this guy. Looks like the mount is there, there, and there's three screws all similar. I want to use these points on the other machine. Oh boy, there's that soft metal. Caution tender. Oh yeah, baby. It might even be just these two. No, nope, there's three. some kind of crazy sound. Are you in here with me? Yes, you are. Oh. There we go. That helped at the top of it. These points are in better shape than the other points. Oh, my friend Steve will be so happy that I'm working on this. Look at that lock washer broke. Gonna get that screw out of there and then just file it down a little tiny bit. Road King, you'd be proud of me, buddy. This is almost down to the age where you work on stuff. It's happening to me. The older I get, good. And then there's a 5 sixteenths there. And that's just a cable holder on her. Put that on back after. Now, we should have a ground. No, this goes to the switch, right? That should just pull off. Pliers! Good. Now, that whole thing should come out of there without having to strip anything. We may have to take this end off. You know what? If we can now good, fantastic. Now I want to get that. Yeah, that, I'm gonna have to take this off. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Gotta be away, right? Unless this just screws off. Would they be nice enough for me on that? I don't know. There it is. Undamaged points. 
I had this one running me. Yep, you might remember that. Okay, I just put some gas in the carburetor. It's leaking all over the place. I did get it to bark. Yeah, see that? Okay, so it can be done. Now let's have a look and see what's inside of here. Okay. Okay, that's it. Oh yes, this just pokes into there like that. So I'm gonna actually put it back together like that. Same old thing they've been doing. They're still doing this on lawnmowers, man. Can you believe that? This pokes into here. We'll just cut that off a little short. Pliers. Hopefully you're getting some of this. This just pokes into the cable like that. That's absolutely nuts, isn't it? I love this kind of stuff. sides high okay so that side goes in like that voila two longies and one shorty so let's see the screws one's going to be a longie there one's going to be a longie there and one's going to be a oh they were the other way First, and that one's with the broken. I'm gonna get a lock washer for that right now. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Okay, so I got a little container full of small washers, all different sizes. Some of them are locks, and some of them aren't. Look at that. Looks like it was made for it. Probably was. Okay, so the points with the top are like that. That goes on there. It's a long one. And that's a long one, and then the shorty smarty goes there, and then we just, what I do is I get some tape. I'm a tape lover. I'm a tape lover. I'm a tape lover. Here comes one now. Boom, 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 boom. I know. It's a girl watch. I'm a girl watcher. And we'll tape this guy up too. That's going to be in the final product. Fantastic! Now, this side is all female attachments. I'm going to just clear off a little bit of this grease. I'm going to take it outside actually. And Nope, I'm going to do one more thing. Seven sixteenths. It's a ruiner. And now I'm taking this uh, spike off of here. and a nut oh, yeah. and the other side did not have a lock washer I'm stunned well let's do that right now we got the little box 
for reassembly. Yay! Okay, so this is going on the new, on the not the new saw, but the rebuilt, oh, fully reconditioned saw, we'll call it. Now, I'm going to take this out. The, the piston's closed. Maybe we should throw a spark plug in there. Yeah, we will. You know what? I might still need this other piece of equipment, right? And I'm just going to spray. Okay, clutching out. Should I put that in? Tight while I'm at it. Okay, so this is a 1966 piece. The other piece is a 1968 to 70, but this is the holy grail right here. The tank doesn't leak. The uh, I should just pull away. Oh, it's just the yeah, boiler works all right. Isn't that cool? So today is a mon monumentous day. I'm just going to take this out into the alley and squirt the dirt off of here. Be right back. All right. On this one, you'll notice there's three five sixteenths by quarter inch bolts holding that carburetor down, and then this last one is a seven sixteenths. Uh, so we'll see. Look at that. It wasn't even threaded in. So there's only three bolts holding that carburetor down. To, uh, we have to take out the adjusters. That's the one beautiful thing about taking something apart is you you learn so much for the reassembly six months later. Because I got it on video, maybe. Oh, look at that big chunk! Oh no, that's an O-ring. <laughs> Make sure that stays there. Good. Good. Okay. What else we got holding that carburetor down? Best thing I ever had in my life. you come. It's really nice having all these tools right at your fingertips, eh? Okay, what's holding that down, guys? Get the other one out, too. That should come off of there, man. I can't be the only one holding it on there. Yep. <laughs> Crazy, man. Good. Oh, that's interesting. This one only has one reed valve. Very, very cool. Okay, thank you. But, look at that. Amazing that it even ran. When you take stuff apart, you really learn. Really, really look at that gasket. You can see the ring around here, and the actual hole where the bolt goes wasn't lined up. And that's probably why they tried to 
use the longer quarter inch one. This one. So that's bad, bad, bad evil. So I'm getting close now. This is all one piece from here to here to here, around here to here to here to here. I'm getting close. Do I want to take that carburetor out of there? No, I think it's safe where it is. So now I'm going to go like this. One, two, three. And this four was, on, was in here, but it wasn't in here. It's totally wrong. I'm going to leave it all. I'm just going to put this over here. I thought I'm not wrecking anything. This is the plate I'm working on, yes. And this one has been split. I'll flex it with my thumb. You're watching. Right there. You see right there? Right along that muffler line? Right there. And the gasket's been broken. The muffler can come off because I have a plate in there. But that's not happening right now. Okay, this is the big move right here, guys. One, two, three, four, five. You're watching almost as good as you can. I've been trying to improve my, oh, my filming. Magnet! Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put these back in. Good. Okay. What else is connected to this? This go. This is part of it. That's all part of one piece, and I need it. Imagine how much that'd be worth if I didn't have it. There it is, it came. It's coming. I want to save the gasket, right? That's my whole, whole deal here. Little by little, if I save that gasket, I can still put some uh, modern silicone gasket maker on there. But it will just reaffirm to me that it won't leak. The whole thing's coming. Oh, it came a whole bunch that time. I'm not going to put the screwdriver in that. Okay, you can see the slot now. We're right, right there. Right there. There's a slot getting bigger. I might just tap on the crankshaft for a bit and see if that helps me. Yes, sir, Bob. The gasket is laid down. Oh, my big buzz, baby. Okay, here we go. Pray for the gasket. Yay! But it's on the wrong piece, but that's just fine. Roller bearing's good. I have a new seal for that. Yeah, baby. Oh, man, I'm so happy. So this basically is just the engine part left now. And this... Crazy looking gasket. Let's get a knife out. Wipe my hands.
I wonder if I should warm it up. Distract it. Really hard there. There we go. She's coming. We got we're halfway home. Seems to be stuck mostly on the bolts, which makes sense, right? Good. How many more we gotta go? Two! Just two. So this will give me an edge for each piece to grab onto with a tiny bit of silicone, just a film of, of the uh, silicone that can take some heat, eh? And, uh, you know, in, the, in these two strokes, something I've learned, and I'm, I'm really learning how they operate now, is that when the piston's coming back down, there's a pulse of air going into the crankcase, which provides the, the energy for the mixed gas and fuel to get back up through the piston or the... Uh, ports in the carburetor or whatever you're using, depending on the age of the machine, to uh, that pulse of the piston going down provides the, uh, the ability for the uh, air to get into the combustion chamber above where the spark plug is. I don't want to jinx myself. tear it after I get it out. There you go. The Holy Grail. Let's just put that up there. Is there anything else I need off this bad boy? I'm going through this now, eh? Uh, so that's coming off because that's been split. It has, no, yeah, that's right. That has the tank on it, which is right. Goes on like that, right? So I'm going to put that onto there, and that's coming off. Carburetor. Lid is good. This tank is not. I'm not happy with it. It's got two problems. This air filter is a donator. The big, big H-shaped handle is good. This handle is going with this one. This and the carburetor are going over here. The other saw never had one of these, which was the chain adjuster, right? And, the rest, and there's my seals. I have to check and see if I need a seal on the flywheel side. Hey, baby, there's the saw. These are definitely going to get painted red. And you know, when you look right inside there, she's almost a GM red, and I've read that. Ah! Joke! So thanks for watching this, guys. I'm done for the day.